The tragic school shooting in Georgia has reignited debates about gun control in America. That may be a problem that never gets solved, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a solution out there. And the way this case has been handled could offer an answer to help prevent tragedies. First of all, we have to admit this is a tragic occurrence in America time after time, and we keep saying, what a tragedy. Yeah. And then the, 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 the same people keep saying, well, we only have one thing to talk about, that's gun control. Great to talk about that. But why don't you talk about something that might make a difference? Like this prosecutor who says, you know what? I'm going after the parents. The parents, have, the parents it's not just negligence. I mean, they're, they're saying the conduct by the parents in this situation rose to manslaughter quality, okay? Pick it up from there. Yeah, what we're looking at here is obviously, according to the prosecutor, who's already arrested the dad, and they've said, listen, the dad obviously didn't carry this out. What the father did was ignore all of the warning signs that have been there for at least one year, mm -hmm. if not obviously longer, and still decided to give his child this high-powered assault rifle as a present last year alone. This child had an incident where he, he yeah. was uh, uh, posting some threats online. So the school did an investigation. The police did. They talked to the parents, told them, listen, your kid has a problem. Something bad could happen. And they said, okay, well, we'll get We we'll, got this. Yeah, don't worry it. about it. And then they buy him the gun. Yeah. They didn't do anything to address any kind of mental health problems he may have had. And then tragedy strikes. To toughen him up. That's, yeah. Did you see that, Art? To toughen him up. I'm going to get him with a gun. There's, a, there's a pictures of, of, of blood on his... He's obviously killed an animal, and Daddy's put blood on his face like that's going to toughen him up. The, the problem we have, and, and I think if you look at also the, the uh, Crumbly case that took place um, just last year. Was yeah. it last year? Yeah, last year was the, uh, the prosecution. Yeah, and those parents were prosecuted, and they yeah. were convicted. And the prosecutor did such a good job... This prosecutor in Georgia, I'm convinced, is going to do a great job here. He's going to line up facts. He's going to say, at what point do we act responsibly? The kid, If the kid is in a room and he's locked the door and he's in there watching killing games all day long and he doesn't speak to you, and he, this, people at school saying, we're really worried about this kid, and he's writing stuff like this crumbly kid had written right before he killed all those people, it's just... At some point, the only solution is you have to scare the hell out of parents with the fact, you know, you're going to go to prison. We can put you in prison for not being a parent. Not being a parent who knows what your child's doing, who is aware of all the, all the machinations going on in his head as best you can be, and not paying attention to what has to be paid attention to. It's not even a matter of just, hey, we're going to make a law to lock up a, a gun case. That doesn't really solve it. Kids going to find out how to get in a gun case. Yeah. But it's the overall picture of how, don't we have responsibility to raise a child that's not going to go out and kill other kids that go to school with you? Exactly. And that's why I think this is such a powerful move, just like what they did with the Crumblies, because these parents in both instances saw all the same red flags. And that's what the prosecutors are telling us is that it's not enough to see them. You, as a parent, have a duty to act. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, the duty to act. Right. If you do not do anything, or if you do something like then buy them the gun to make things you know, worse, this is on you. And, and so hopefully, uh, again, the gun control debate is always going to be the gun control yeah, debate. Exactly. We, we have too many it, politicians that will or will not do something. It's, I don't think that part of it's ever going to be solved. There's two things you and I have talked about over the years. First of all, make insurance, make them have insurance that's really expensive. Yeah. Okay? You can own a gun, but you have to have insurance on that gun. Yeah. And the prices, they're going to be high. And parent, you have responsibility. When you have all these things happening that are, that are foreseeable, it's foreseeable that something's going to go bad. Like the crumbly kid. I mean, he was drawing these macabre drawings of guns and bloodied up people during a math assignment. He's sitting there drawing these, killing people while he's drawing, while he's in math. And he, at the top of it, it says, my thoughts won't stop. Help me. Help me. My life is useless. If you're a parent, I mean, isn't that like, my God, this is serious and you need to pay some attention. And right after that, he goes out and just... Kills kids, kills yeah. teachers. I, I, I mean, that, that one cannot be any more crystal clear. 
yeah. literally calling out for help on something they knew they were going to turn in. Mm -hmm. And it, we, we do have this mental health crisis here in no, this country, and we have such a poor apparatus to handle it that things like this do happen more and more frequently. Mm. And I don't know if it's a lack of resources, you know, within schools, within families to get this mental health, but if we, if we could get some kind of program together, maybe that could stop this. Because again, we're looking at a situation where we're not going to control or solve the issue of the guns, mm. but we can solve other parts of the problem that could reduce this. Yes. I know what I want my solution to be. I want the assault weapons off the streets altogether, and a lot of other folks do too. But if we can't do that, okay, well, we got to find another workaround quickly. Right. And this could be it. Hold the parents responsible, do the insurance, get the mental health help for these individuals. Required. When, Required. Something, when a teacher says, I just saw this note, he's drawn bloodied people and say, help me, help me, help me. Required. You know what? Maybe shave a hundred billion off the defense budget each year really? and direct it just to that, and hey, we could fund the whole thing.